Hey YouTube, 1993 Honda Prelude. Got a no start condition. It will start at night when it's cool in the car, but it won't start when it's hot in the car. It's currently hot. And I'll show you what it does. Got power. No start. I'll start again. That's just what it does. I've also noticed when you start it at night, you can hear the fuel pump running. And when uh, you start it during the day, you can hear the fuel pump not run. You can hear it actually not prime. So I believe it's a main relay problem. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. Alrighty guys. So here's the main relay. This is the original main relay. 177,000 miles on it. And what happens with these boards, if I can even get a good video of it, I might have to go get my other camera. Um, but the, the solder points on these break. And actually on this one, you can see the broken solder point. In fact, now that it's hot, I looked at it before and set it on here. And it's, it's gotten a little hotter. Now that it's hot, you can see it even better. So I'm going to go grab my other camera and I'll show you. Okay, YouTube, got my nice camera out. Oops. Sorry for the noise, it's sitting on a tin of metal. Let's see which one is it. It's that one right there, you can see the crack. It's right there. It's a tiny little, yeah, you can see it. Let me get it out of the shade. It's like a round dot around it. And that's the one that's broken. It's usually this one and one of these guys that's broken. So the most common. Always check all of them. Take a look at all of them. Um, I'll set it somewhere warm, and you can actually get the steel to stand up a little bit more. See exactly where they are, but that's definitely a break right there. That's got to be the problem. So we'll go ahead and resolder that, and uh, see if that fixes the issue. All right. So we already got the other two soldered. I'm just, I'm just doing both of them just to make sure. I'm going to do possibly some more of these other guys just to add some more solder to them. You want to add some solder, not to the point where you ground it out and it starts touching other things, but to the point where there's a good amount there. See, it's a lot taller now. Looks a lot better. I don't think that'll have an uh, issue of breaking anymore. Yeah, that one looks really good. I think that's really the only two that break on both sides. Well, might just go ahead and do some more of these guys. It's not going to hurt. There's my lovely neighbor, just Doug. I think start the flow here. Oh, this has been difficult. There we go. Oops, sorry. For all of you who are wondering, that is a chihuahua barking. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a brown lab. Haven't you ever heard a chihuahua bark like that? Big scary things. This is one that they're mixed with pit bulls, you know, giant pit bull chihuahuas. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't even have a, a sharp tip on this either. It's just a really big crude tip. Works just fine. Yeah, those are looking great. Just building some up. I mean, it's like I said before, it's not going to hurt to build these up a little. Add a little solder to them. Stop it from doing it again. And I'm going to do these two, and I think I'll just call it good, and then I'll go plug it in. Not really. Oh, I'll probably just mount it up, just so I don't have to go back under there and do it again. I had to be a contortionist to get under these under these uh, dashboards.
Come on, there we go. I think all those look pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Cool. See you, tubers. Alright, I'm going to see if I can show you where these, this guy is. If you look at the clutch pedal, yes, I've got wires hanging down, I know. Bugging me. If you look at the clutch pedal, it's almost directly up inside it. This is the fuse panel over here. It's almost directly up. So let's see if I can show you. I'll put you like that and hopefully you're seeing it there. And then I'll... Oh, I can torque my, myself in here. It's this guy right here, this brown plug. And you don't have to unbolt it. Everybody unbolts these and you don't have to. You have to push up and you have to get them up far enough to come off its mount. So what you have to do is pull it back down and it's done. Everybody unbolts them. I never do. Never had any issues with it either. Okay, that's on. Oh. Alright, and here's this little trivia crack for you. Look at this little thing right here is duct taped up. Yes, I know. I'm going to clean all this up. If anybody can tell me what the heck that is, I would be much grateful. A little switch right here, too. I don't know where the switch is. Yeah. A little switch. No idea what that is. Whether it's something to play with the ECM or it's just a really crappy little uh, anti theft device. I'll go ahead and see if she starts up now. And if she does, I'm going for a drive. I imagine she would. Let's listen to the fuel pump. When you first turn it on, you'll hear that fuel pump. And if you can hear a fuel pump and you're still not starting, still check that main relay because I, if, I'm, if I remember right, that also runs the injectors. So the injectors may not fire. Yep. I heard the fuel pump. Yeah, buddy. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions, just holler.